Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally and we continue learning English tenses. So, this video is about past simple tense with examples. Really, you'll see lots of examples, so it's very important. How to form these tense? You need to know that there are regular verbs in English such as work, play, listen, okay? So, I work. So, how to say it in past simple? So, if you have a regular verb, you add ed. You add ed. So, I work, it's present simple. It's present simple. If you want to say it in the past, yeah, in past simple, you add ed. So, you see, I worked. I worked. So let's look at the next example. Let's look at the next example. I play football. You add ed and it will be I played football. So I play football, it's present simple, and I played football is past simple. Yeah, we talk about the past. I listen to music, it's present simple, we talk about the present. And I listened to music, it's past simple, we talk about the past. We add ed after the verb, okay? You know that there are irregular verbs too, such as see, understand. How to say it in past simple? You need to memorize its form, you need to remember, yeah, you need to remember its forms. You need to remember. You need to remember them. You need to remember them and you need to remember its forms. Okay? So, for example, C is an irregular verb and we know its forms. See, saw, seen. If you want to say it in past simple, you take the second form. You take the second form. So, I see it. Yeah, you talk about the present. And I talk and I saw it, you talk about the past. I understand you. So the second form is understood. I understood you. And it's about the past. Okay, so it's very easy to form this tense. You just need to know this second form. Second form. So it can be with ed, if it's a regular verb, verb plus ed, or it can be an irregular form if this verb is irregular, yeah? So, you see that first you have a subject, right? And uh, then, so, you have to use the second form. So, regular verb plus ed or irregular form, please. Remember these, remember this rule, it's very important. Okay, well, next, okay? Let's look at some examples, some more examples. Yeah, but I think that uh, first we'll have examples and then we'll do some exercises. Examples and exercises, okay? So, I saw her yesterday. It's about the past. See? So, please, you need, you need to know these forms. See? Saw? Seen? She did it on time. Do? Did? Done. They went to the cinema. Go, went, gone. He drove a car. Drive, drove, driven. Drive, drove, driven. She let me down. So, let, let, let. Okay, and uh, some exercises. Some exercises. It's important to do exercises. So, we have a sentence. I go to work. So, can you say it in the past? I go to work. So, to say it in the past, you need to know its forms. The, the forms of the verb go. Go, went, gone. So, I went there. I went there. So, very good examples. So, saw, did, went. You need to know its forms drove, let, you know, and uh, went. So, if you want uh, to practice more, 
So you can talk about your day, what you usually do, and you can talk about your day yesterday, for example. So it's a very good, pra yeah, it's a very good pra practice. For example, my day yesterday, my day yesterday. Okay, so I got up very early. I got up very early. Get got. So you know, get got. I went to work. Go went. I worked very hard, so this verb is regular. This verb is regular, so you have ed in the end. I finished my work at six o'clock in the evening, so you have ed because this verb is regular. I came back home late, so come, come came, come came. Okay, so very good. Very good. And you also need to know that there are some time markers for this tense, time markers or time expressions, and we use uh, past simple with these phrases. I did it yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I saw her the day before yesterday. And also different phrases with last. Last week, last month, last year. I went there last year. I went swimming last week. And different phrases with ago. I did it two days ago. She came to me three days ago. And, uh, you know, in. yeah. For example, we often use this sentence. I was born in. yeah. When we talk about the past, we often use in. yeah. In some year. So for example, I was born in 1986. And you? So you can continue it. I was born in. And you can write about it in the comments. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, so how to form a negative form? So it's very easy. So you use a subject, then didn't plus verb. For example, I didn't do it, we didn't do it, you didn't do it, they didn't do it, he didn't do it, she didn't do it, it didn't do it. So easy. So didn't plus verb. So you know that if we look at present simple, we use doesn't or don't. But it's only didn't, so it's easy to remember it. Let's look at some examples. I didn't do it. I didn't see her. So didn't plus verb. Didn't do it. Do is a verb. Didn't see. See is a verb. Didn't go. Go is a verb. Didn't win. Win is a verb. Didn't play. Play is a verb. Okay? So it's easy. How to form a question? So you use did in the beginning and then you use a subject and a verb for example did i do it well did we do it well did you do it well did they do it well did he do it well did she do it well did it do it well okay but i think that you need more examples and exercises no problem welcome examples did you do it did you do it did you see her yesterday did she come back and exercises? It's very important to have different exercises. So you have this phrase and uh, yeah, so let's you have these phrases and you need to form a statement, a negative sentence and uh, a question. For example, you and yeah, to say it in past simple, say it in past simple, you went, you went there. You went there. Okay? So use the second form. So this verb is irregular. The for, the for, yeah, infinitive. Go. So go is an infinitive. We call it infinitive or the first form. And the second form is went. Go went. How to make a negative form? So you you need didn't. Yeah, didn't plus verb. Okay? So you didn't go. You didn't go there. You didn't go there. And how to form a question? So you need did in the beginning. So did. Did you go? Did you go there? Did you go there? Okay, so we have you went there. You didn't go there. Did you go there? Let's do the same with the next phrase. Come back here. So statement, negative sentence and a question. Okay, so he came back. He came back. Come came. I think 
you know that uh, this verb is irregular. Come, came. Next, he didn't. Didn't plus verb. He didn't come. And uh, let's ask a question. Did he come? Did he come? So ha we have he came back. He didn't come. Did he come? Okay. How to form special questions? So it's easy. You need uh, to use a question word. So a question word in the beginning. Question word. And then you need to use a question word. And then you need uh, to use did. And then you need to use did plus subject. Plus subject. Yeah, plus verb. Plus subject plus verb. Look. Where did you go? Where is a question word? Did. We have did. You is a subject and go is a verb. Where did you go? Okay. Why did you call her? Why is a question word? Did. So we have did. You is a subject and call is a verb. Why did you choose this channel? Why is a question word? Did. So we have did. You as a subject and choose is a verb. Okay. So, very good. Okay, you think maybe that's all about past simple, but in fact, it isn't true. So, there are more rules which you need to know. Yeah, really. Let's talk about the verb to be in past simple. So, you need to know its forms. So, be, was, were. So, is the second form. And the third form is being. And the third form is being. I was there but they were there. So you need to know when we use was and when we use were. I, he, she, it was. We, you, they were. For example, I was there, he was there, she was there, it was there. We were there, you were there, they were there. So let's have a look at, at some examples. I was there, because I, he, she, it was. I was at home. I, he, she, it was. But you were right. You were right. We, you, they were. They were happy. We, you, they were. It was interesting. He, she, it. So, he, she, it was. Okay? Very good. How to form a negative form? Think that you see it. Okay, so, really, you see, I, he, she, it wasn't, I wasn't there, he wasn't there, she wasn't there, it wasn't there, and we, you, they weren't, we weren't there, you weren't there, they weren't there. Okay, so, for example, let's look at some examples, I wasn't there, I, he, she, it wasn't, I wasn't there, it wasn't interesting, he, she, it I, he, she, it wasn't, but they weren't at home. My mother wasn't there. Why do we use wasn't? Because my mother means she. She wasn't, so my mother wasn't there. My friends weren't happy. Why do we use weren't? Because my friends mean they. They weren't. My friends weren't happy. Okay, how to ask a question? So you put was or were in the beginning. Was I, he, she, it, were, we, you, they. For example, was I there? Was he there? Was she there? Was it there? Were we there? Were you there? Were they there? Okay? And you see some examples. Was I happy? So I, he, she, it, was. Was she there? But were you disappointed? Because we, you, they were. Were you disappointed? It means were you sad, were you depressed, were you upset? Okay, and uh, you know that uh, it's time for us, really, to do some exercises. Okay? So, you need to do the same. To form three types of a sentence. Three types. So... Let's start, let's start with something easy, with something simple. So, a statement. Yeah, it, 
He, she, it was. It was interesting. It was interesting. Next, how to form a negative form? So he, she, it wasn't. So it wasn't. It wasn't interesting. It wasn't interesting. And let's ask a question. Was it? Was it interesting? Was it interesting? Good. Really good. So the next one. In the office, they. We, you, they were. They were. They were in the office. They were in the office. Next. They weren't. They weren't in the office. And were they? Were they in the office? Were they in the office? So I think that um, this tense um, is uh, quite easy. You just need uh, to know uh, the second form. And the most difficult thing about this tense is that you need to know irregular verbs. Yeah, you need to know its forms. So, and I believe that uh, to speak English well, so if your, your level is about intermediate, you need to know uh, at least 100 irregular verbs. 100, maybe more. Yeah, but you know that we have also a course on irregular verbs. So, but I think it's better to know more, more than 100. So, yeah, it's uh, the first problem. And the second problem is that you need to think. So, how to form sentences in past simple because you know sometimes you need to didn't uh, or did and sometimes i mean i'm talking about the verb to be you need to use was were then wasn't weren't and uh, was were again in question so you just you, you need to understand when we use uh, did didn't and when we use was were i think that there are just two uh, maybe difficult things or which uh, may seem difficult. Okay, so thanks a lot for attention, thanks for coming, and I think that we'll continue this playlist.